Hi, welcome to this Court Maths video on even numbers and odd numbers. Let's start off with even numbers. Even numbers are numbers that are divisible by 2. So here we've got some even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. And as you can see, they're all divisible by 2. In other words, they can be shared equally between 2. So if you look at each of the rows, they can be shared between 2 equally. So these are all divisible by 2. Whereas odd numbers, odd numbers are not divisible by 2. So 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9, they're not divisible by 2. Now if we have a look at a number grid going from 1 to 100, the numbers on the number grid are odd, even, odd, even, odd, even and so on. If we colour all the even numbers green, they will look something like this. So we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 and so on. So all of these numbers in green are even. And there are five columns. We've got this first column where all the numbers end in 2. So 2, 12, 22, 32, 42 and so on. The next column where the numbers end in 4. 4, 14, 24, 34, 44 and so on. The next column where they all end in 6. The next column where they all end in 8. And the last column, 10, 20, 30, 40, where they all end in 0. So even numbers are numbers that will end in either a 2, a 4, a 6, an 8, or a 0. And they will be even. Whereas the odd numbers, if we colour our odd numbers in, in pink, so 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, and so on. The first column of odd numbers end in 1. The second column of odd numbers ends in 3. The next column of odd numbers end in 5. The next column of odd numbers ends in 7. And the last column of odd numbers ends in 9. So odd numbers will be numbers that end in either 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. So even numbers end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. And odd numbers end in 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. So our first question says circle the even numbers. So we've got these numbers 18, 15, 21, 39, 36, 54, 63 and 70. And remember, even numbers end in either 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. So 8, that means that 18 is going to be even. We've then got 15, but that's 5, that's going to be an odd number. 21 ends in a 1, that's going to be an odd number. 39 ends in a 9, that's going to be an odd number. 36, well that ends in a 6, so that means that that's going to be even. 54, that ends in a 4, so that's even. 63, that's going to be odd, and 70 ends in a zero, so that's even. So the even numbers that we were to circle are 18, 36, 54, and 70. Okay, let's have a look at another question now. So we've got some bigger numbers here, and this time we've been asked to circle the odd numbers, and our numbers are 318, 240, 683, 491, 1252, 977, 604, and 2009. And the great thing is we only need to look at the number in the ones column or the units column, that last digit, to see if the number's odd or even. So for odd numbers, they were going to end in a 1, a 3, a 5, a 7, or a 9. So we've got 318, no, that ends in an 8, so that's even. 240, that ends in a 0, so that's even. 683, that ends in a 3, so that means that that number is odd. 491, that's going to be odd because it ends in a 1. 1252, that ends in a 2, so that's even. 977, that ends in a 7, so that's odd. 604, that ends in a 4, so that's even. And 2009, that ends in a 9, so that means that that number's odd and we were to circle it. And that's it. So even numbers are numbers that are divisible by 2. Odd numbers are numbers that are not divisible by 2. And if a number ends in a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, it's even. Or if it ends in a 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9, it's going to be odd.